Hello everyone and welcome to the suicide of Rachel Foster. Rachel Foster, from what I read, from a little of the description I bothered to read, was a woman, I believe, <laughs> starting off well, um, apparently they found out the owners of this building, which I play as the daughter of the owner, of one of the owners, um, found out that the owner's husband was having an affair with Rachel Foster, who was also with child from what I hear. So now we have to find out how this all happened. Why did she kill herself? Was the guilt too much? I don't know. But this time we're gonna play detective, or at least I think we are. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get ready. We gotta, we gotta dress for the part. Looking good. All right, we're ready. We, we look the part. Something's missing. Ah, of course. There we go. All right. What else? It still feels like something's missing. Something that's always there <laughs> in detective movies. But what could it be? What could it be? I know. This! Rachel Foster. I was just a beat cop back when it happened. Apparently the owner had caught her husband cheating with a girl not too long after the kid threw herself off a cliff. To make matters worse, it turned out she was with a child. The wife left after that. Husband took over the hotel, but as rumors go, the ghost of the kid hunted the place after. Now the owner's daughter contracted me to keep her safe. Been hearing one too many ghost stories, I'd wager. Well, whether these rumors are true or not, because we'll be finding out pretty soon. And there we go. All right, let's get started. Let's get this train rolling. Let's get this train wreck rolling more like. I'm, <laughs> I get the feeling I'm not meant to be detective, but here we go. Story you're about to... You guys got it that, right? You you were able to read it. My dear Nicole, you are the daughter every mother dreams of. Beautiful, smart, and and what? And fact? What? Hold on. Uh, beautiful, smart, and uh, something. We've been through a lot, and I know things haven't always been easy. But remember what Dr. Franklin said after you, your speech at high school graduation. I always thought of you as a fighter who, faced with the toughest challenges, is capable of brandishing all the weapons necessary to fight courageously and heroically. We never talked about what happened with your father, but now I need to tell you a few things before this illness separates us. <sighs> oh, I'm moving forward, all right. I got the feeling the illness separated us. And uh, just like that, just like the illness took my mother, I too have become an umbrella doomed to spend my Day, the rest of my day is underneath rain. The affair, your, the affair your father, the affair your father had with that young woman nine years ago, and her ensuing suicide broke our family apart forever. I imagine exactly what was going through your head in that moment. That your father had irreparably betrayed our trust that she had done the right thing by throwing herself off that cliff. I was there. I've always been there. When you dislocated your shoulder at the first game, when you s sobbed, <laughs> that it's it stabbed, when you sobbed at night in a room you didn't recognize, and when Duncan was a good kid. But even if I've never said so before, I immediately thought you wouldn't have a lot to talk about. Talking is a foundation for every relationship. If you don't talk, you drift apart. There's so much to say when you don't have a lot of time to say it. First of all, I'm sorry. 
also this game said don't play this game if you have issues and I have not only depression I have anxiety and zero self value so I can only imagine how this game is gonna roll out for me I never thought a Rage was an emotion worthy of a good Christian, but I used it. I used it to endure pain. I don't want you to live your life like I have, my love. I want you to be free from the past once and for all. That is why I want you to do exactly as I say, Cellar Hotel. The hotel is my family's and, you've enti and you're entitled to it. Go back there, Nicole. I've hired a lawyer in Helena, Mr. Jenkins, to give you the, this letter once your father has passed away. I will already be gone long, already be long gone. Take a quick inspection, sign the papers, and sell those walls that hold nothing but rage. Keep what you need to pay off your university loans and give the rest to the girl's family. Let's end this story once and for all. We've always been there for each other. I wish I could still be there at your graduation, your wedding, my grandchildren's birth. But that's it. We don't know how much time we have. Use yours to love. There's nothing else worth living for. Fighting for our fighting for and dying for. Believe me, I love you above all else. Your mother. June 24th, 1991. So I'm out of parents then. After all that time, you still kept tabs on your father? Like, that's, that's interesting. At least that's what I'm getting at. Oh. Show respect, everyone. Take off your hats. <laughs> Ms. Nicole, I'm here to help you on this murder case. <laughs> I'm here to assist. Or to deter your progress. I'm not sure which. Uh, we're about to find out. <laughs> Knowing me, I'm going to... Keep all progress from being made. The bad weather crossing Montana is amassing all the characteristics of an atypical storm. The bad turn is proving worse than expected, with above average winds and snowfall, especially forecast for Helena National Forest Natural Reserve. The National Weather Service warns residents to follow all instructions given by local authorities and to avoid all unnecessary travel. Some concerned meteorologists are comparing it to the storm that hit Billings in 1955, with 42 inches of snow falling over a single night. Are we heading into the mother of all winners in Lewis and Clark County? Certainly sounds like we're going to have a good time from that weather. All right. So what the description did say, and this is one of the few things it said, was that when we arrived at said hotel, uh, the weather got so bad that we got stuck there. And so now we have to survive and find out why Helena's ghost hasn't moved on. Was it Helena's? No, no, wait. That's the name of the place. Ah, I'm an idiot. I'm a horrible detective. I've already <laughs> forgotten the name. Uh... I'm not meant to be a detective, am I? <laughs> Either we're next to a washing machine or this car could be doing better. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, this is gonna work out just fine. Smell. It's all I remember from the night we departed ten years ago. They say smells last longer than other memories. A faulty lamp. I don't think this lamp is faulty. I think it's literally just 
on the ground instead of up there. That's that's not a faulty lamp. That's faulty placement. Mom's car. I see no one ever bothered to move it. You guys have interesting cars. All right. Well, at least we have a motorcycle. Leonard's motorbike. Is Leonard the husband? Papa, is this your motorbike? Or was Leonard the the person that was coming to audit the place? Check-in, reception. Well, it looks like we might be going this way, so. Well, okay. Open, please. Thank you. Remember, remember everyone. The attorney said to check always the close the doors first. behind you. It should be just beyond the Mountain Museum at the end of the stairs to the main floor, if I remember right. Mountain Museum? What kind of hotel is this? How much money do you have that you can have a museum in here? Boiler room, employees only. I technically am uh, an employee. I own the place. I should be an employee. Above an employee. I don't know. Ah! Itchy! I'm fine. Hello? Man, this is one heck of a hotel. Why would you sell this place? And I just saw the no. I, I know why you would sell it. Where's the phone? Is it in, is through here? I can't even open it. It's on the other room over here. Where is it? Where are you? Mystery phone! I know you're out here somewhere. Oh, okay, I see it, I see it, I see it. Ooh, a zoom. I just got here and you hung up. your emergency hello can you hear me what's your emergency did someone Hi, it's what Paulie from happened telephone company I'm sorry oh these are just you, previous but as I told you last time the company recordings cutting off the telephone service to delinquent customers I I'm really sorry Leonard but my hands are tied we have to go ahead. I'm sorry. Goodbye. So Leonard was my father. All right, I get it. These glasses uh, yeah, remind me so much of him. It's Jenkins, the attorney. The hotel chain that wants to take over your hotel has just dumped a mammoth holy Bible of documents on my desk that I need to check through. I have to personally go to the county land registry office before we meet. Listen, I know you didn't want to go to your father's funeral, but now the hotel is entirely your property. The law requires you to assess its condition before putting it on the market. Uh, it's, uh, very noble of your mother to want to repay that poor girl's family, Rachel. Not everyone would deprive themselves of such a sum. Anyway, it's up to you now. Get to it. I'll bring you a burger you Portland folks can only dream of. Oh, I left you some notes and a master key on the dining room table of your family's old apartment. Start your rounds from there. Give me a couple of hours. Don't run off, all right? Where would I go? You're already bringing me lunch. I got a free burger and a couple million dollars for this place. A decent attorney from Portland, Mom, not this potato head. Oh, come on. Come on, let's do this. What? The guy sounds perfectly reasonable. He's gonna get you a burger. What more could you want, woman? <laughs> There's legitimately the nicest thing anyone can do for you these days. Mostly because no one would ever bo bother to do anything else other than that. Mostly because no one else would ever bother to do more than that. But, you know, <laughs> that's beyond the point. I could go for a burger right about now. I wouldn't mind it. If you don't want it, I'll take it. I've got a kid. Gotta get paid somehow, right? Being a freelance detective isn't cheap. Have any idea how many burgers it takes to bribe somebody? <laughs> bribe my landlord into letting me stay? Oh, it takes a lot, let me tell you. Nitro! Why nitro? Why nit- no, hold on. Nitro's a bad le uh, word that I don't like having here. Oh, good to know this place is looking well. Rugs could be a little bit more fitted. Less rolled up. Hmm. There's the dining room, but I think he said 
He didn't mention, he didn't say the dining room, he said the apartment dining room. So I gotta go over to the apartments. This is a freaking big hotel, I like it. This is old school. It's got a nice feel to it. And that nice fuel, fuel, that nice feel is gone. The second I stepped into these halls, I knew death was on my, was on its way. Oh, hello, mannequins. How are you? Why have a mannequin next to your bed? Ooh, a pen. I do have to write a couple, couple documents, so considering I, 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 I probably lost... Have I ever told you guys how easily I used to lose? I say used to, but I lost pencils left and right. That's why I started using pens because they have a little holder. When I was in school, I lost like 10 pencils a week. Like I got new ones, but they were gone the second I stepped into the into the school. They were just, they would magically disappear and I never, I could never find it. And that is why I started using pens. But teachers don't necessarily like the idea of pens for some reason. Which is odd considering, you know, like, they don't want you to cheat. So why why is a pen so bad? You, you know, it shows that you're learning the stuff because you can't exactly undo the mistakes you do, you make. I guess they want to see, like, little scribbles, you know, to show that, oh yeah, this person made a mistake, so probably doing it right, which is odd. What the heck kind of toilet is that? Is this a thing? Is this how toilets are sometimes? I've never seen a toilet like this. That's gross, the yellow line. Someone needs to seriously clean it. Cleaning a toilet isn't that hard, but why? What? Oh my gosh. I've never seen a toilet like that before. Oh, that's funky. Oh, that's weird. Is that real or is that just something someone came up with? Also, these are a lot of pills. Oh my gosh, that's mind-boggling. Wow. <laughs> Man, a freaking 19 minutes into the game, that's the most amazing thing I've seen so far. Not the most amazing, but, you know, like the most off-putting. Not off-putting. It's, it's not off-putting, it's just w odd. Hello, bear. How you doing? Something is up, and I don't know what. The existential issue. How could our cosmos come into being? Oh, let's not get into that. Ah, yes. Window. That's nice. I always wondered why on uh, games like these they would blur the outside, and I kind of get it now. You know, it's like... I don't know. To me, it feels like it gives like a sense of isolation, I think, is one of the reasons. A lot of books. Father must have really liked his books. Oh, a testament. Can't read the testament. Please? Oh, uh, okay. Ah, taxes! Uh, it's, that's the, one of the few things that'll scare me right, right fast. Like, I'll be gone nice and quick if the second that word comes up. Oh... Leonard, Claire, and Nicole. Leonard seemed like a nice guy. I can't picture of him as being a cheater. That's kind of... Because uh. you never expect it anyway. Oh, hey! Speaking of uh, math work... Calculations. What for? Why? Why the calculations? Also matches. I'm observing a whole lot of stuff, but I don't think I need to observe all this stuff. I think I'm just kind of wasting time. I gotta go get those keys. My room, my rules. Yeah, I don't... Mm, a Polaroid. Perfect for ghostly apparitions. As long as you don't, you know, keep getting pictures of your thumb or bananas. No one's ever going to understand that uh, reference. Hold on, no, they said the... Uh, oh, may, I may as well look. Nicole, you liked... Things here exactly the same as when me and mom left ten years ago. Is that my heart or someone so, drumming a beat? Pink? Doesn't matter. Quick tour, nothing more, Nicole. Oh, dude! 
Nicole, I've newfound respect for you. That's nice. Uncompleted 360 flip. Ha! Okay, it's completed now. Mixtape? Haven't seen one of these in a long time. Man, this is... Oh, hey! This is the manager's key my mom wouldn't give me when I was little. I can't imagine why she would. I'll You'd need a master key for the guest rooms, though. All around access for everything. Also, hold on, I was going to say something, but I can't remember what it was. Nice lava lamp, though. I, I appreciate a good lava lamp. Observe. You like hockey? These are nice drawings. If you were, like... I don't know how young you were, but really good at drawing. I can see the uh, progression over time. Interesting. All right. He said at the dining area, right? Hello? It's to my right. Okay, where? Was it the old one in my room? The brick phone? Really? This thing still works? What is this, a joke? I don't know. Listen, lady, I have no clue. That thing shoots pounds of radiation into your ears, though, Hello? from what I heard. C can you hear me? Is this Miss McGrath? Wilson. McGrath was my father's. Uh, uh, uh this is, um, uh, Helena Federal Emergency Management Agency. Uh -huh. My name is, uh, Irving Crawford. Uh, Mr. Jenkins told me you'd be arriving. Uh, Mr. Jenkins is a very enterprising man. Oh, uh, I, I guess so. I, I wouldn't know. I'm kidding. Oh, right. Any reason for your call, Irving, from federal, whatchamacallit? I'm very uh, respectful I'm there. you during your stay at the hotel. What? Uh, the Timberline is old but sturdy. You'll enjoy your stay and be safe, no problem. Uh, mm -hmm. the furnace, wiring, it's all under control. So... Uh, okay, enough. Why? I don't know what Jenkins told you, but I have zero intention of staying here longer than, let's say, 20 minutes. Oh. Yeah, yeah but, the storm. storm. Hold on. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm leaving straight away. <laughs> Maybe you're not aware. That. Thanks for everything. Irving, right? Man, Irving. I'm... You're a jerk, yeah. lady. Uh, I... You... Uh, Bye. Wow! No respect for the good man. What is wrong with... She's sassy. I don't like her. I don't like you, kid, but you contracted me to keep you safe, and that's what I intend to do, regardless of how big of a, a jerk mess. you may or may not be. Never thought to find anything like that. Okay, dining dining room, I'd imagine, is Jenkins' letter. Oh, there we go. Dear Miss Nicole Wilson, recipient, this is to inform you that the, the nominated personal representative, Claire Wilson, is intended to transfer the property of Leonard McGrath's last will and testament. All the ownership rights and responsibility are now attributed to the recipient. Please acknowledge receipt of this letter and confirm indication your indicating your consent to the above transmission, returning it to me in a correct envelope. If I do not receive your reply objection to the proposal transfer, I will assume that you accord to it and that there will be that there will not be any future problems regarding the owning of the property named above. <sighs> Paperwork. Just reading that little bit gave me chills. I don't know, Nicole. I think your name is Nicole, anyway. I'm pretty sure things got worse since last time I looked out window here. Oh, good friggin'... Alright, well... Alright. I don't have the master key. I don't know where it is. I looked all over that apartment, and it was not there, so... Found a book scribbled with Santa. I didn't think I'd be able to open those. Alright. So, guy back there said something about a uh, a dining room, and I saw something that said dining room down this way. So maybe the key's down here. You never know. I'm not going towards that. That those banging banging friggin' windows. All right, I'm not. No, I'm not doing it. I refuse to. You cannot make me. Ooh, they had a menu. What? 1982 Christmas menu. How long has this been? Has how long has this place been closed? Something about an empty room just gives you the creeps, you know. 
Like, I enjoy, I myself enjoy a good storm outside, you know. If it ever snows or rains, I love to open my my blinds, my curtains, and just watch. Because it's really serene, really peaceful to just see stuff like that. Feel a little warm inside. So I enjoy it. Um, mm -mm. But this, all this creaking, all this noise, the fact that everything's put away is... It adds a level of uh, goosebumps to you, you know? Mom Frisbee. Is that the name of the wine or what? What, what, what do you mean by Mom Frisbee? I, mean, I thought you meant, you know, Mom's Frisbee. Man, that's too much noise. Those are really nice doors if they can block all that. Wow. I wish I had a door like that. I wish I had doors like that. That's effective. That's a good door right there. All right, well, um, from what I heard, or from what I little I was told, I am to get an overview of the war bunker here. What the heck is this? That's a lot of snow. I don't think it's safe to drive on that. It won't. It wouldn't topple my car, but I don't know if my car can drive through all that much snow. I saw your car. It doesn't look all that. Those are really good doors. It doesn't look like it could stand up to all that much too deep snow, you know. Oh, look, the room I didn't want to go into. Whoa! There goes the blinds. Hello? Hey, you still there, Irving? Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm still here, Miss McGrath. I, I mean, Miss Wilson. Yeah, when you said this things shot was 30, oh, that's flew what I was off. trying to tell you before. Uh, around these parts, the weather. How much time do I have to move? Uh, uh, the snow piles up pretty quick, and uh, uh, some parts over 3,000 feet are already icing over. I gotta risk it. Uh, mm -mm. You're not thinking of taking the car. Uh, obviously no. Uh, how do I choose? Uh, how do I choose? Uh, I don't know how to uh, choose. Yeah. I couldn't choose. Oh, what do you want me to do? If your car uh, breaks down, we can't Whatever. come get you. Not even with tanks. Whatever happened to Miss Wilson? Uh, oh, uh, sorry about that. I, I just. Uh, Nicole is fine. Oh. That said, thanks for everything again. Thanks. You actually sound somewhat respectful. Seriously. If you ended up out there with your That's car shocking. Dead, with 12 inches of snow and 20 degrees below zero, wait, 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 hold on. 20 degrees I below zero. I how things work in the mountains. Luck doesn't exist. As a, a FEMA agent, I have to insist. You know, you're not the first man. To, to do what? To try and stop me. Hey, uh, wait. Bye. All right, Nicole. That's all nice and good, but how could I have made a, a choice here? Oh, it's in Spanish. Anyway, uh, controls. Next floor, next floor, previous floor. Oh, I can actually talk. Well, that would have been nice to know. It's voice activated, which is fine, because I, I, I got my trusty little uh, microphone here. All right, well. What I've... can go wrong? <sighs> I have a 1986 Dodge. How dare you mention such words? You fool! You've single-handedly sealed your fate! How could you make such a mistake? Oh. This person is gonna get me killed. Anyway, I'm gonna finish it here. I know not much happened. Uh, unfortunately, you guys probably don't want to stick around for too long. Like an hour. So, 30 minutes is as far as I'm willing to push it. I've, I don't want to, you know, go beyond the limits of how much people would be willing to listen to my idiocy link to the game is in the description below if you want to give it a try for yourself you know it's interesting i didn't get very far so if you get it now you can unlock most of the mysteries before you know everyone rushes into the game and starts finding them for you as always hope you guys are having a fantastic day and until next time later